live from the Multi-GP headquarters, this is Multi-GP News with your host, Chris Thomas. Today on Multi-GP News, it's going to be an absolute riot at the Multi-GP International Open. And the 2017 Spec Class voting is in full swing. Details on how to vote plus submission deadlines. Also, meet NASA's new astronaut candidates from the class of 2017. Here's some of the impressive backgrounds of these space travelers. What's up everyone? I'm Chris Thomas. And I'm Frank Realize Minute. All this and much more coming up next. Welcome back everyone. Let's get started with our top stories in this week's Morning Quad. It's going to be an absolute riot at the Multi-GP International Open. Rotor Riot and Multi-GP are teaming up to bring the community an epic FPV festival. The event features Mr. Steele, Tommy Omegad oh Tobiah, Kevin Stinger Swarm Doltry, Drew Ladrib Camden, and Chad Capper. The International Open offers a little something for everyone, from freestyle racing to UTT spec racing and much more. The event, equipped with eight flying sites spread over 1,200 acres of FPV paradise at the historic Academy of Model Aeronautics headquarters in Muncie, Indiana. The International Open is your chance to connect, fly, and compete with the international FPV community. Discounted early bird tickets are available now through July 1st, so sign up today to save some money and a chance to enter our giveaway. Be sure to stay tuned to both Multi-GP News and Road to Riot episodes leading up to the historic event for updates and announcements. Remember to log on to eventbrite.com to get your early bird tickets today. Uh, dude, I'm really excited. This is going to be uh, an amazing event. Absolutely. First time we've done the freestyle yep. and uh, the spec racing. And the wing racing. And the wing racing. And the uh, team racing is going to be fun, too. I'm yep. excited for that. And did you catch that we mentioned spec racing at the International Open? Yeah, the 2017 Multi-GP spec page was officially launched last week. We are putting up at least $5,000 as a prize for the spec race at the International Open. Multi-GP reached out to many vendors to get involved, and at the end of the day, we had over 15 companies participating. This year's spec program allows two components per category, that is two motors, two VTXs, and so on. The only exception are frames where there are five allowed. Based on the submissions we received, if we got more than two submissions for a particular component, then the community would decide via a vote, a vote which is going on right now. We are voting on motors and batteries. The rest of the components have already been selected and can be found at multigp.com slash page slash spec. You can also find links to the ballot to submit your vote. Here are the rules for voting. You must vote for two components from the choices. Any submission who does not select exactly two choices will not count. You must provide both your multigp username and associated email that is tied to your username. If you provide an invalid username and or email, your vote will not count. Your multi-GP account must have been created before May 15, 2017, or your vote will not count. You may not submit more than one ballot. Duplicates will be removed and only the last submission will count. Make sure you complete all the questions. All voting ends on June 22nd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We wish the best of luck to all involved, and we hope to see all of you at the International Open. I'm building a couple spec racers. I'm just waiting to see the results of the vote. Yeah, and it's going to be pretty cool because those same spec racers that you build could actually be your main quad. Yep. So you're not just going to build a useless machine that you're never going to want to use again. Well, for me, I don't like keeping up with the hype train, so I want to be able to, to, to get something and just keep using it. And it's time for a surprise shout-out on Multi-GP News, and it goes out to a pilot who doubles as one of our media ambassadors. A big-time congratulations going out to Lisa Zoldak, a.k.a. Big Red Spider. Many of you already know Lisa for her incredible skills behind the lens. She's one of our photographers for the Region 3C, covering the Ohio chapters. And behind the scenes, she's been putting in a lot of stick time and now she's taken the podium by storm. Lisa just finished in third in the Quad Racing Group of Ohio's annual Flight Bash 2017. Now this unsponsored Tier 1 pilot is competing with the big dogs. The top finish coming as no surprise to chapter organizers who have been watching Lisa quietly hone her skills for months. Congrats to Lisa, and we can't wait to see more of you on the track. 
I bet John is really feeling bad now. I think I think Lisa beat him. I, I don't know, but I think it's going to be tough when they uh, have that dinner time conversation. <laughs> it's going to be a little, a little yeah. weird. Uh, well, they may not be flying FPV, but soon they'll know how to fly a rocket. NASA has just announced its new class of astronaut candidates. The 12 candidates were selected from more than 18,000 other really smart people. The group is made up of seven men and five women. They have a range of impressive backgrounds, including military fighter and helicopter pilots, military officers, doctors in geology, aeronautics, and engineering. One used to work for SpaceX and another worked on one of the Mars rovers. All 12 will be sent to Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. In August, they will start a two-year training program before being given their specific assignments as astronauts. Time to get them started on FPV. Congratulations to our newest astronauts. I'd like to be an astronaut. How about you? Yeah, I'm not sure I could um, stick inside that metal tube for that long. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be stuck in there with you, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and coming up tomorrow, a full recap of the regional qualifiers, plus the top pilots who made their way to the finals. Then we'll introduce you to a race car driver who's not only fast in FPV, but just made the top 10 in the Indy 500. And it's a new segment highlighting all our multi-GP chapters in the country. Find out which chapter will be the first to be featured this week. That's all the time we have for this episode of Multi-GP News. Remember, if you have a story you'd like to share on an upcoming episode, email us at news at multigp.com. And don't forget to check out tomorrow's show on our Multi-GP YouTube channel. And, you know, we keep sending people to this YouTube channel. When they subscribe, they got to hit the bell, right? Yes, hit the, the bell. bell. Whatever that bell picture is, click it. Yeah. And, then, and it makes that noise, too. So remember, we're also aiming to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you tomorrow morning on MultiGP News. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank Maynard. And I'm Chris Thomas. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, press the like button below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in being showcased in the next episode of MultiGP News, please contact us at news at multigp.com.